Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet, and I'm in this tutorial. I want to show you how you can easily extend or stretch your studio backdrops in Photoshop. So, usually, this results from uh, using maybe wider lenses, or maybe even the background or the backdrop may be slightly smaller, or you may be having a small studio space to work with. So, you may end up with these kind of gaps in your photos or in your portraits when you shoot them in studio so this is going to be a method or a tutorial that is going to help you get away with those ugly or annoying edges that are not filled by the backdrop so if at all you find it helpful make sure that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video or push it further to more people out there so right now i'm going to show you what we're going to do right now so right now what I want to do, I'm just going to create a copy from the background layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard to create a duplicate from uh, the background layer. And what I'm going to do in this case, just going to get the rectangular marquee tool. So as soon as you get this tool right here, so this is the rectangular marquee tool that we want to use. So we just want to fill up and stretch this backdrop to fill up all these empty spaces right here so what you're going to do after getting the rectangular marquee tool you're just going to make a selection so make sure you select where the backdrop is and you don't select anywhere or anywhere close to a subject so for this case i'm just going to make the first attempt right here and make sure that you select within uh, the backdrop just like that but you keep away from your subject and you don't select your subject so right that we are done selecting uh, this so we want to stretch this and it fills up this empty space so with this done all selected we are just going to come right here to edit and you're going to come down to free transform or the shortcut that you can use for this is ctrl t yeah ctrl t for tall ctrl t or command t on the keyboard and you'll have it at this point so usually this is going to be linked if at all it is the first time you're going to be using it so when you link this and you try moving the corners it means that it's going to move it in this kind of direction and it's just going to expand this option to this top part so let me show you what i'm trying to mean by this so if at all you try stretching this area you can see what it does to this area which we don't want so i'm just going to undo that by using ctrl or command z on the keyboard to undo that so make sure this link option has not been checked or highlighted and you're just going to click on these uh tools right here all these tiny boxes on the edge and you're going to stretch it outwards just like that so that it can fill the extra spaces that were existing in the image and after that just simply press enter on the keyboard and that is going to approve your stretch and you know that this select you can use ctrl d on the keyboard or you can use command d so ctrl d for windows and for mac it is command d to deselect so we want to do it again on these other empty spaces so i'm just going to come back and get the rectangular marquee tool and i'm going to make a selection right there and with that done you can come to edit and you come to free transform or you can use ctrl t on the keyboard or you can use command t on the keyboard and it's going to bring up these tools where you can simply click and move so make sure that this always is not linked so as soon as you click you can now stretch your backdrop like that and press enter on the keyboard to approve that and hit ctrl d or command d to deselect and you're going to do the same for the lower part of uh, this backdrop so for this case i'm just going to start from this side so always make sure that you start from the very edge of your backdrop and move it just like that and simply press ctrl t on the keyboard that is the shortcut and drag it towards the edges to stretch your backdrop so after doing that or after feeling like we have done a decent job we can simply press enter on the keyboard to approve that and you can simply 
deselect this by pressing Ctrl D or Command D on the keyboard to deselect. So you can now go ahead and remove these extras by simply you can either use your spot healing brush tool right here and make sure it is in content aware and the mode is normal and sample is on sample or all layers so you can simply fill in these edges by simply dragging and filling in that black space on the edges so the spot filling brush tool really does a very decent job trying to fill it or to fill up at uh, these empty spaces so let's just wait for it to uh, fill it it and you can see it has just filled that in so i'm just going to reduce on the size and i get rid of this stand right here or the corner of the stand right here so i'm just going to use the spot healing brush tool and it's going to eliminate that by just painting on it so basically this is how to stretch your studio backdrops or extend them within photoshop and if i told you i found this off for look at the before and after before after so if i told you i found this video helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not yet subscribed this channel ronix from monis photography thank you for watching and see you need more amazing tools and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating